Today, I'm going to show you what a day in the life of Ray the Entrepreneur is like. And honestly, it's not that exciting. I woke up at about 7.30 and the very first thing I need to do is go get a cup of coffee. That's how I start every day. Saturday I'm with my coffee and the very first thing I do is I check the business. See how YouTube, see if I got any more subscribers, see how much money I made on my Amazon and other affiliates. Check emails real quick. And while I'm doing that, I eat breakfast. We're trying to lose weight. Let's see what we got going on. Next thing I do after I'm done checking my YouTube and my affiliates is I do my to-do list. Usually I do this the night before, but if I forget in the morning, and this is all I gotta really do. Edit videos, record it then the live, which I'm doing right now, and work on my vending machine strategy. So right here, I have my video topics I'm doing. I'm doing vending, shirts, and eBay, and I have what kind of content I'm working on for that topic right here. These are my uh, ideas for new videos. This is what I want to do. These are my affiliates. And those are chores I gotta do. I don't have to do a lot of chores today because I did them yesterday, Monday. Today's Tuesday. Monday's the busiest day because that's when I do everything. Yesterday, I bought a Cameo 3 and sublimation machine. So be expecting those videos. Yesterday, I messaged my graphic designer so he could work on the flyer for my marketing strategy for the vending machines. eBay, I still gotta go get inventory. I've been lagging it, maybe this weekend. Pretty much it. When you're trying to grow something, you need to be realistic and know, hey, it's kind of boring and lonely, but you know what you want to achieve and that helps you keep going. I know this is gonna pay off. I know it has to. So the first thing I do is I edit my videos. I sent my editor the clips yesterday. What I do is I go on Google Drive and check if my editor sent me a video. He did. Is uh, how much you to pay me for a million views video. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open it up. If I gotta change anything, I change it and then I upload it. Uh, the very first thing I always worry about is what's making me money. What's making me money is my videos. So that's the first thing I do every morning. Work on my videos. I use Adobe Premiere Pro. They charge me about $20 a month. I've had it for a couple years. Can't complain. It's a good software in my opinion, but I know there's other ones. One thing I need to start researching is I need a faster computer, man. Because exporting it takes a long time. But I don't know anything about computers. So if you guys know a good computer with a lot of power. See, I don't even know the terms for a good computer. Let me know. So once I'm done doing the final edits and I'm uploading it, I start working on my next video, which I'm doing right now. A day in the life of Ray's Entrepreneur. And then after I'm done recording, I will send it to my editor. So I'll do this later on today. And then in the meantime, I focus on my next content. Let's see. So the next thing we need to do is I need to work on my new strategy to get more vending machine locations. Look at that. So what I'm gonna do with this is I'm gonna print it out, go to local businesses. I'm interested in putting a gumball machine in and just ask them if they'd like to join the group. So my video is ready to be uploaded. So let's upload it. Watch it out. So once the video is uploaded, I put the tags, the description, the title, the thumbnail. I click on the software, the monetization, the cards, and the end cards. You know at the end of the video how you could click on another video. That's what I do. I make it public and let's see. I have standards for my videos and results. 
in the first hour they need to hit at least a thousand views that lets me know it's in a good start i have a lot of videos that don't hit that goal and after a couple days i make those videos private the reason is because i don't want my video to be cluttered with a lot of unpopular videos pretty much i want good videos on my channel and if they're not good i don't care how much money i invested on it how much time i put into it it's not gonna be on my channel for long but that just that's just me we made it public it's 9:59, so we'll say it's 10 let's see how many views we get in the next hour as soon as i finish uploading a video while I wait for that hour to see how many views i got i go down to my comment section i like every comment and i reply to every comment in the first hour so Let's put in that work and I do this to connect with people because I know sometimes I take a long time to reply on messages But the people who comment right away on my video. I love showing you guys love. Okay, let's check up on it It hit 12. Sorry. I was a little busy doing something else, but over 30,000 views I can't complain. There we go. As you can see I try harding thumbs up and replying to every comment I get in the first hour or so and i feel like it helps my channel but of course i got no way of proving that but i just like interacting with some people now that i uploaded a video now that i'm recording a new video now that i reply to some people i talk to my editor let's check him out me and my editor we talk a lot he's part of the team huh he's probably busy he'll call me back my editor What's up, Luis? What's up? What's up? Yeah, um, I already sent you the video. I don't know if you see it. Nah, I haven't seen it, but I'll check it out right now. I'm doing some vending machine stuff real quick. Oh, okay, okay. Hey, just letting you know you're gonna be in my next video, right? Me? Yeah, in the, uh, I'm, I'm recording a day in the life of Ray's Entrepreneur. And well, oh, yeah. I talk to you every day. Yeah, look, I'm recording right now. Ah, what's up, guys? Hey, but Luis, hey, shout out your YouTube channel, man. Where can people find your content? Uh, you can find my content on Epop All Day, uh, and I'm starting to a podcast called All Day Podcast. So yeah, and Alpha TV on Instagram too. Luis, um, I'm working on some stuff. But I'll check out the video later, and then um, I'll send you this video tonight. Okay, okay. Good, man. You have a good day. Yeah, you too, man. Okay, bye. Great guy, man. Great guy. So now, what I'm doing is I'm working on my vending machine for about one to two hours. And after that, because look, I always have my to-do list. And today's not a busy day. After this, I'm going to work on my sponsors. I'm trying to have sponsors for my YouTube series. You know how I have vending machine, t-shirts, eBay. I want to find sponsors, so we're going to be working on that later on. So I'll see you in a bit. It's 3 o'clock. I was answering a couple messages. I finished working on my vending machine thing for today. And um, look how many views my video has. Got a lot of views, man. It got a lot of views. It is 312 right now, and it has 52,841 views man that's a good video today i'm taking a picture for a graphic artist named charlie pangas he has a youtube channel he's gonna make me a great design but he needs a picture of my face so let's do that right now so the homie charlie pangas is gonna make an awesome t-shirt design for me he told me to send some pictures of my face let's see what he does with it but look at that Oh, handsome. Look at that. Could be an Instagram model over here. Look at that mean face. Charlie Pengus, hope you can make me look beautiful, man. I don't have a lot of work, but hey. So now it's 319, and this is the end of my day. See? Not so hard. Now I pretty much wait till 5. That's when the kids and my girl get here, and that's when I spend family time. So from three to five, that's when I try answering and spending messages as I can. This is Instagram alone. I have 
72 requests. I try to respond back to everybody. Here's the thing right now. I'm getting so many messages where it's hard to respond back to people quick enough. I just want to personally apologize. I'm trying to do the best I can. One thing I don't want to do is outsource my messaging. I want it to be from me because I feel like I get to connect with you more. So for the next two hours, I'm going to just be replying back to messages. Then at five with my kids and my girl get here. Bro, I'm just going to spend family time. Here's one thing I want to tell you. You see what I'm doing and it's not all fun and games. I make it look easy because realistically, it is easy. Plan some videos, record videos, send it to your editor. I just got an editor a couple months ago. Before that, I used to do it all myself. I hate editing. You know, things here and there to grow the business. One of the hardest things about this is that you're by yourself most of the time. It's lonely. You have no coworkers. You don't have no employees. Don't get me wrong, I talk to people throughout the whole day. But I talk to people as raised entrepreneur. Not as I look forward to see my family and I try, I try my hardest not to do business related things while I'm with my family because I want to give them that quality time. Sometimes it's hard, especially when I have a lot of things to do. But I try, man, I try. It's lonely and if it wasn't for them, I would go insane. I, I will go through my moments. I'm sure I will go through depression. I'm sure my attitude will change. And that's one thing you need to realize that starting a business is great. And at first you need to hustle and you need to go through the lonely times. But I feel like I'm already successful because I'm already doing what I want to be doing, which is helping people and enjoying life. I'm doing that right now. No matter what happens in the future, I could say I'm happy right now. I'm successful right now because that's my definition. There's been a day in the life of raised entrepreneur. Um, sorry to disappoint you that it's not all fun and exciting. Most of the time, it's boring and I do the same thing almost every day. Wake up, edit videos, record new videos, do stuff to grow the business, then do that little stuff to grow the business, network with people, respond to messages, family time. Then go to sleep, repeat it all over again. On the weekends, it's all about the family right there. I, I, I don't really like doing a lot of business during the weekend because that's where I'm able to give my family good quality time. And that's it. If you enjoyed this boring video, hit the like button because most of my content is all about how to make business and I'll see you in my next video.